afternoon. The oil and gas industry coming back to life in New Mexico. That means jobs, tax revenue, and money for the state to pay for public education. It also means more environmental concerns. News 13's Allison Martinez spoke to leaders of Eddy County today. Allison. With the oil industry on the rise again in southeast New Mexico, so are worries about the environment. Seeing it from the air gives them a whole different perspective of what's happening on the ground. And Concerned that oil extraction is harming the wildlife and wild lands, conservationists are urging Eddy County commissioners to preserve what land is left. In Eddy County, the majority of the land is state and federal lands, and they're they are leased from the state and federal government. So as a county commissioner, it's very difficult to say, you know, we're, we're going to police that. Oil and gas bring jobs and revenue to Eddy County, but so do the national parks like Carlsbad Cavern and the Guadalupe Mountains. As oil companies look to expand their operations, finding a balance can be difficult. Caverns right there, I mean, that's a national landmark. You know, if, if, if we, you know, I guess desecrate or to, you know, mess up the land there, it's going to cause a big issue for everybody here at the state. There. And protecting the wildlife and national lands aren't the only issues being raised. You know, our roads are, you know, are in bad shape um, because of the massive amount of traffic that's traveling them to the oil fields. I also spoke with the BLM today. The federal agency says it's working on a revised plan for Eddy County and they want community input to figure out the best balance. Kim. Okay, thanks, Allison. Now, just yesterday, the BLM had an online oil and gas lease, lease auction. It brought in almost $131 million to the federal government and New Mexico. Some of that land is in Eddy County.